Hi everyone. So the last two videos we kind of covered some of the basics about account, account reconciliation and invoices. And so today we're going to talk about um, bills, how to enter them, and mark them as paid and things like that. So on your when you log in on your dashboard, you have your invoice widget and then your bills widget here down down lower. And so from here you can create a new bill. You can uh, click on your overdue bills or ones waiting for payment or ones in draft and look at them. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hit click new bill and once this loads, go ahead and put in your vendor, the date of the invoice, the due date of the invoice, the invoice number, and then a description. I personally like to put detailed descriptions of what was on the invoice, but you don't have to. Code it to the right account and region if you have one. And that's what it looks like. So I am, at, for, for this organization, I am a user who is a advisor. So I have the ability to approve. Um, under user roles, you are able to limit a user to only inputting bills without approval. And so when they save them, they won't have this approve button. They'll have um, send to approval. Even though I have the approve button, I can come over here and say, go to save and go to save and sit, submit for approval instead of hitting approve. So what that does is it puts it in the approval tab here. So this is your bill area. Um, it gives you a tab for all drafts, awaiting approval, awaiting payment, paid, and repeating. So now if you look at the awaiting approval, you'll see our newly entered bill. Now we didn't add an attachment, but that's easy enough to do. You can either upload it or you can drag and drop it. And if we had, you'd see an attachment here. So either I can go in there and approve it since I have the ability, or someone else can go in, look at it, and approve it. So we can go ahead and click on it and approve, or you can click on the bill itself again and hit approve. And the one thing, if you're reviewing someone else's document to look at before you approve it, check out the notes because this will tell you when it was created who it was created by the details that were entered and then you can hit approve all right so now this is an approved bill meaning that we can code a payment to it um, we can do a PowerShell payment so if we wanted to just do a $200 payment we could we say well that was paid from what what account it'll be deposited into or paid out of and then a reference if we have one and if we're, we're not going to do anything with this, with this right now. We can just leave it as is, or we can go down here and add a note. And like I said before, you can add attachments. This little page icon here, just click on it, and you can click on Upload or Add from Library, or you can just drag and drop an attachment into the uh, window of your web browser. So that now that's it approved, we can go back to Bills, and you can see that here are all our bar bills. These are the ones that are overdue. You can see them in red. You can go in here and put in a planned date when you think you're going to pay them, and you can do a search, all kinds of things. Or you can click here, and it will select all these bills, and you can hit make payment or schedule payment, and I believe you can do it by the check or batch to your bank. Or if you have bill pay, bill.com, um, you can go there and make it do it a lot easier, but we'll talk about bill.com in another video. So that's for paying the full amount. So if you wanted to go in here, for some reason only pay a partial payment, like I said, you could go click on here, type in, we only wanted to make a $200 payment on this for some reason, maybe, you know, it was a down payment, um, make that today. And so every time you tab out of this date field, it'll automatically populate it as today. And then we'll do our main business checking account and there's no reference and click pay. And so that'll show here in our invoice, it'll show that we paid 200, we have 300 due, and if we went back into it, you could see that specific payment and look at it. So now you can see a payment here, so that you come down to the net of 300. The other thing to do, it, you can do is if you need to recode this, you go up here to bill options, you can do a copy, so you can copy this exact invoice and it'll take every, all the data, except for the vendor and the dates, and make it into a new one, or you can do edit. 
and you can go in here and change everything except for the unit price because you've already made a payment on it. So you'd have to reverse this payment to change the price. So we can go in here and change this to maybe advertising, maybe that's really what it was for. And then do a save, and there you go. And so now at the bottom here, which is nice about Zero, as you can see our history, and you can see all this, and then you have this little blue here that says pre-edited items. And so you can look down here and see, okay, this is what the transaction looked like before it was edited. The account was a consultant and accounting, and now it's advertising. So if you needed to go back and change it to what it was, there it is right there in your notes. And then the last thing you can kind of do is you can always do a print PDF of these bills so you can see them. And then you can also make this bill, or any bill, a repeating bill, and add a credit in it. So if you have a, if you're making large purchases for from a big vendor, and they give you a credit of two hundred dollars on like a five thousand dollar bill, you can go on in here and just add a note to it so that the net is what it's supposed to be. So one more way to look at bills is to go into contacts, and what you can see on this page is you can see quick and easy. If we owe them money, if they owe some money, and then if you just type in a contract's name, a uh, vendor's name, you can go ahead and click on them, and you can see the total history of all invoices paid to them, or all invoices they paid us, any, any money coming in, any money coming out. So down here at the bottom, there was an invoice we sent them for 362.05, and we have two invoices out there waiting to be paid. One's been partially paid, and one's been fully paid. So that's pretty much the basics about bills. Um, let me know if you have any questions. You know, post a comment in the in the comment section, or go ahead and shoot us an email at info at Thank you.